tried to do with this book is find the characters that have meant the most to readers through the years, that spoke most directly to, to them and to their lives. The ones that have stuck with it have opened up their newspapers uh, every morning for 14,000 mornings, and I don't think that, that uh, without some sort of emotional connection they would have, they would have stayed with it. So we, we concentrated on the characters that we know people have related to for the longest period of time, in addition to newer ones that are, that are resonating in, in the culture now. Well, the strip has always been known primarily for politics, and, and um, it got that reputation early on. When the strip first uh, broke, it was the only place on the comics page where politics and uh, other edgier material, uh, the Vietnam War, sex, drugs, rock and roll, were, were discussed. However, I think what really drew readers and, and brought them back and has, has, has held on to a number of them through the years has been the characters, and that's what sets this, this book apart, is, is that focus on the essential characters, um, the ones that have been sturdy and, and have endured through the years. Really, we're not doing an examination of the controversial material and all the politics and all the things that are very specific to a time and place as much as we are what it felt like to be alive in the 70s, to be alive in the 80s, not so much the, the, the particulars of what was going on at the time. The last time I counted, there were uh, over 60 running characters, uh, those who could, I could call upon to saddle up at any moment, and I could put them center stage, and people would know who they were and what their backstories were. I don't really have an emotional attachment to any of my characters. There's too little time in life to form emotional connections with the people you should be in, in your real life to, to allow competition from your imaginary friends. So I like to think of it as co-workers who I don't allow to follow me home. I rarely work more than a week or two out, so I can't really say what's going to happen a month from now, much less years down the road. Uh, I do know that it's, it's uh, every bit as engaging and compelling to me uh, as it's always been. And um, unless newspapers go off a cliff, I hope to be doing it for some time to come. Mm -hmm.